What is the kingdom of God? The kingdom of God refers to the idea of a place where God reigns as king. Any person, place or community where the people live with God as king can be referred to as part of the kingdom of God. The establishment of the kingdom of God is a gradual process which starts with the birth of Jesus, the Prince of Peace, sent by God to establish peace and justice. It was confirmed by Jesus' death and resurrection and the arrival of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. It grows in the lives of Christians who today try to spread God's kingdom on earth by working for peace and justice. And it will be completed in heaven at the end of time when God will reign for eternity. What are the marks of the kingdom of God? 1. Justice. This means to ensure people are treated fairly. Christians believe all humans have dignity because they are made in the image of God, which means all people must be treated with respect. There should be no discrimination based on sex, gender or ethnicity. It also means that everyone should have certain basic human rights. It is an injustice for some people to not have access to basic rights such as food, clean water and medical care. The Catechism says goods created by God for everyone should in fact reach everyone. 2. Peace. This second sign flows from the first. There cannot be peace unless there is also justice. Wars and conflicts tend to exist in places where there is injustice. Peace requires everyone to respect the rights of others in order to create harmony among people from different nations, races and religions. The church says that peace is founded on truth, built up on justice and nurtured by charity. 3. Reconciliation. This is the restoration of relationships that have previously broken down. Where injustice and conflict currently exist, it will be necessary for there to be reconciliation before peace and justice can reign. It requires humility and empathy for people who have previously been in conflict to work together and settle their differences. It may also require repentance and forgiveness for people to move on from the wrongs of the past. What is Catholic social teaching? Catholics are called to show the signs of the kingdom, peace, justice and reconciliation in their own lives. But the Church has said that these values need to become part of the way that we govern our societies and communities. Catholic social teaching, or CST for short, is a set of principles and beliefs that seek to ensure that all people are treated with dignity and respect, and it encourages Catholics to support governments and policies that promote peace and justice. Catholic social teaching is critical of economic systems that allow the powerful and wealthy to exploit the poor. The Church says, Today everything comes under the laws of competition and the survival of the fittest, where the powerful feed upon the powerless. CST teaches that Catholics should take a preferential option for the poor. This means they should support groups and initiatives that put the needs of the poor first and challenge those who do not acknowledge the needs of the poor. How can Catholic social teaching be promoted? Catholics are called to love their neighbour as themselves. Many Catholics do this by supporting church charities which are based upon Catholic social teaching and can work at local, national and international levels. The St. Vincent de Paul Society was set up in Paris in the 1800s by Frederick Ozenam, who chose St. Vincent as the patron of the charity. The charity is organised at a local level, with many parishes, schools and universities having their own SVP group, who help respond to the needs of their local community. This might include helping the homeless by organising a soup run, supporting young people with disabilities and young carers by running holiday camps, supporting prisoners by running prison chaplaincies, visiting the vulnerable, including the lonely, bereaved, housebound and depressed, and running drop-in centres where people can get regular social contact with others. CAPOD is the Catholic Agency for Overseas Development, which works to bring justice on an international level. Their work includes 1. Sustainable development, running projects that in the long term will allow poorer countries to work their way out of poverty, such as training health workers or running education programmes for street children. 2. Disaster relief. In the short period of time after a disaster, whether it be natural or man-made, there is a short-term need to provide food and shelter to those affected. 3. Education. CAPOD spends about 5% of its budget on educating people at a national level here in the UK on the need to promote development overseas. This raises awareness and therefore funds which can then be spent directly on overseas development. 4. Lobbying. CAPOD works to lobby national governments to promote policies that support long-term development, as well as challenging laws that do not promote fair trade. The theme of the Kingdom of God can be found throughout the teachings of Jesus, and one example you should be familiar with is the Our Father, or Lord's Prayer. The prayer starts by addressing God as Father. This shows that all humans are children of God made in his image, and so all people deserve dignity. By using our rather than my, this encourages Christians to think of themselves as part of a wider community rather than just an individual. Thy kingdom come. 
This is a call for people to extend the kingdom of God in their own lives by working for justice, peace and reconciliation. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdom of God is any place where God reigns. When a person obeys the will of God in their own life, they are establishing the kingdom of God within themselves. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those. This relates to reconciliation, which requires people to be willing to forgive others who have hurt them at the same time as recognising their own need for forgiveness. Deliver us from evil. This is a call for God to protect us from evil that humans can inflict on others, for example genocide or trafficking. This happens when they fail to see each person as a child of God worthy of dignity and respect. Thanks for watching. I've been Mr McMillan.